Hi guys, Max from on Android.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about top five reasons why you should not buy the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Let's go do this, baby. All right, probably the number one reason why you should not buy the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus. The S9 and S9 Plus comes world's widest aperture of f1.5, which means you're gonna be able to take better photos in low light. You're gonna be able to get more blur. All right, without using artificial blur software like Live Focus. Now, this is the world's first, the widest aperture. The widest aperture before this was LG V30 f1.6. Now, Samsung has upped that with f1.5. Uh, for those of you who don't know what aperture is, basically, amount of light that goes through the hole in the camera lens. So with the wider aperture, the hole becomes bigger and you have more light. Thus, you're gonna be able to take better photos in low light. All right, if you absolutely don't need this awesome feature, you don't need the S9 or S9 Plus. But based on history of Samsung Galaxy, from S7, S6 to S7, I think it went from F1.8 to 1.7, did not really improve a ton. S7 to S8, it actually didn't change, it was stayed F1.7 to F1.7. The low light performance between S7 and S8 are almost negligible in my opinion. But from S8 to S9, you're gonna be able to take those photos you couldn't with the S8 in low light. You're gonna be able to get a lot more bokeh. For example, I'm using an f1.4 lens. You can see me and my background is blurred out because it's f1.4, very, very wide. Slightly wider uh, than the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. All right, but a lot of you don't need this feature. For me, I absolutely need this feature. So I'm definitely gonna get the S9 or S9 Plus. Um, you know, camera is probably the biggest change this year. And if you don't take a lot of photos in low light, you don't really use a camera that much, you might as well save money and get the S8 or S8 Plus. But for those of you who love photography like myself, for those of you who need extra wider aperture, S9 and S9 Plus is way to go. Also, slow motion have been up from 240 frames per second to 960 frames per second. Now, this is not a new feature on Android. I've already had it on my Sony XC Premium for a whole year. The 960 frames per second slow motion, if you watch some of the Samsung ads, they make it look like super high quality. Now go look at actual test footage. It's super low quality. It's sort of a gimmicky feature. It's fun to use, but you know, it's nowhere what they advertise to be. But if you absolutely need that 960 frames per second, I guess that's a reason to get the S9 or S9 Plus. But trust me, the slow motion quality is more like barely 480p. Um, not even 720p and even in bright light, it looks pretty crappy. That's all I'm saying. All right, number two reason why you should not get the S9, S9 Plus if you don't need the performance upgrade, all right? Performance has been up from Snapdragon 835 to 845. All right, also for international versions from Exynos 8895 to 9810. You're gonna see probably around 20 to 30% improvement in performance. But obviously if you don't use your phone for gaming, um, if you don't require a lot of performance, um, you absolutely don't need the extra battery life a better processor gives you, then there's absolutely no reason to get the S9, S9 Plus. But for those of you who wanna get it, the S9, S9 Plus will give you that added performance for gaming, uh, added performance for video editing, added performance for browsing, you know, desktop websites. I do a lot of crypto trading, uh, requires a lot of RAM, the fastest speeds possible. So for me, um, I do absolutely need the faster performance. But if you don't need that, go ahead and go with the S8, S8 Plus when the S9 comes out and you should be able to get it almost 100, 200, $300 cheaper. I would even pick up a used S8, S8 Plus for even more discounts. All right, number three reason why you shouldn't get the S9, S9 Plus. Uh, the S9 comes with the same four gigabytes of RAM, same as last year's S8, S8 Plus, but the S9 Plus comes with six gigs of RAM. Um, if you absolutely need the fastest performance, obviously go with the S9 Plus. Again, this comes back to performance. If you don't do a lot of performance things, um, you don't need to get the S9 or S9 Plus. All right, number four, reason why not to get the S9 and S9 Plus, if you absolutely don't need the new dual speaker AKG tune speakers. All right, you can actually do this on the older Mono S8, S8 Plus simply by rooting, if you have an international model, and installing the dual speaker mod. That will actually allow you to enjoy the new speaker feature 
on your older SA and SA Plus. But if you did not buy the international version, uh, obviously you want to opt with the S9, S9 Plus, which has dual speakers. And personally, I don't really listen to a lot of music off my phone. I don't really need the stereo speakers. I usually use headphones or you know, earbuds. So personally for me, that's not a real reason to buy the S9 or S9 Plus. All right, lastly but not least, the weird fingerprint position of the S8 and S8 Plus. I mean, I hate the way it looks. It, it's, it's just weird looking. Uh, the fingerprint sensor is hard to get used to. It took me about a month, but obviously the S9 and S9 Plus fixes that with the center fingerprint location. I would rather have the center fingerprint position. And if you have short hands, um, sometimes this is literally impossible to reach if you have short index finger, especially with the right finger. If that's the case, S9 and S9 Plus may be the way to go. All right, but if you absolutely don't need the new fingerprint position, you don't look at the back of your phone all day thinking, oh, that looks beautiful. Fingerprint location in the center. All right, then you don't need the S9 or S9 Plus. All right, other than that, there are a lot of new features like AR, custom emojis. You can create emojis out of your selfies. I don't see that as a reason to get S9 and S9 Plus because a lot of that is software. Samsung will probably add it to S8, S8 Plus, Note 8 even older phones, or at the least, you'll be able to get it with some custom APK files. Other than that, the display, battery size, all of these things are the same. Um, exactly the same size as S8, S8 Plus. This is an incremental upgrade. If you're still on S8, S8 Plus, thinking about upgrading to S9 and S9 Plus, if you absolutely don't need the new camera, better camera in low light, if you absolutely don't need a faster processor, and etc. etc. you really don't need to upgrade to the S9, S9 Plus. But for those of you upgrading from older Galaxy phones or other types of phones, um, I do recommend getting S9 or S9 Plus because obviously you're going to have the best of everything. That's pretty much it. Top five reasons why you should not get the S9 or S9 Plus. I should have a full unboxing comparisons review of the S9 and S9 Plus when it comes out next week. Um, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see that. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.